Hey friends, thanks for visiting my channel. This is Aisha at Young's Paper Creations and I'm coming to you right now with some exciting news. Exciting news. I am so thankful to all of you. You've been taking part in the giveaway that I'm doing with Nelda from Nelda's Crafts. And I am so thankful because Nelda is a fantastic person. So again, for those of you, please... Uh, remember that the giveaway ends next Thursday. That's the 7th. It's supposed to be the perfect number. <laughs> so the 7th of June, that's when we'll be calling out the name of the two individuals who will be getting their hands. Wait for it. Wait for it. Who will be getting their hands on one of these two journals. I've given you a flip through. You've got uh, the videos that shows you exactly what they're all made of. They're beautiful. 90% of the items that went into creating these journals were from the lovely uh, swab that I did with Nelda from Nelda's Crafts. They're uh, a mixture of avocado dyed pages and coffee pages and wallpaper sample sheets and floral sheets and lace and they're just absolutely phenomenal and I thank you uh, you've, you've shown your interest and we're so thankful I also want to be able to thank you for uh, checking out the wallpaper samples they're phenomenal those are just one set. So if you've got an interest in other uh, color palettes, let me know, Young's Paper Creations, that you're interested in wallpaper sample sheets. They're great for so many things. And if you're a crafty gal like myself, then you know that you can use them for, for a plethora of uh, crafting needs out there. Now, this one before you is a journal. This one is available for sale, looking to find its home. And I recently completed this gal. I am loving the chunkiness that she comes with. It is so chunky, but all good, all good. All right, so this is the cover and what it looks like. I'm trying a different angle with my camera to avoid some uh, shadows. I still have to get my technique down there, but let me just show you as much as I can. The here is a pocket. Of course, you know, my journals are all about providing opportunities for journaling. That is my main concern when it comes to uh, creating journals, that you can actively use as much of it as possible. So there are lots of tuck uh, spaces, uh, this hair comes out, and Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Zanor, uh, had mentioned her usage of the gold paper clips. I've gotten into using them, and they just add this extra, extra, uh, as we say, je ne sais quoi, and so I've taken to using them. Uh, this particular journal is the standard, uh, journal, and when I say standard, I mean that it's uh, eight and a half by 11. So it is, I'm hoping I'm, one second guys. One segunda. My phone is dying a bit and I wanna go on and make sure that I give it some juice or it's not gonna be able to do the work well. So I hope you can see well there. So, here, this here is a nice little tuck spot with baking, uh, oh, what does he call this again? The muffin uh, holders. <laughs> That's what my mind is telling me right now. All right. Vintage papers. This uh, paper pack uh, is from Michael's. That was from Michael's last year, uh, last summer. And this lovely colorful blue uh, 
cardstock. This was actually from the Dollar Tree, and right now as we speak, they're running out, but there's still some left, and they're so pretty, so pretty. I tell you, the most frustrating thing about, uh, and these are wallpaper samples and cardstock and such that's in here. The One of the most frustrating thing about the Dollar Tree is that though the items are at such wonderful prices out there, it's uh, first come, first serve, and if you catch it, you catch it, and if you don't, you don't. So today, for example, I ran down there because Tina, one of the uh, one of the lovely uh, folks, loveliest of folks that I found on the YouTube, happens to live in Ontario, and she came on talking about running from one Dollar Tree to the next, and um, of course I had to track down some of the papers and whatnot that she found at the Dollar Tree only to find that they didn't have any more. So, oh well. C'est la vie. So, here's a little hideaway. I love this little. You could do whatever. You can add uh, extra writing space or you can just write with what's here. And of course, um, with the help of my one inch punch and all that stuff I was able to make this little door and I love that and more floral I consider this like a a, um, a garden journal because I wanted to go with what spells summer for me so that's my thing the summer journal I generally don't name my uh, give my journals names per se. I would either call them journals or prayer journals or or notes. But um, when I went to make this particular one, I had summer on my mind. I got love on my mind. Only in this case, I had summer on my mind. And so when I was picking out the papers and everything, I just kept thinking a little bit of cross between botanical and summer floral, that was where my head space was. That's where I found myself. Again, this is extra writing spot right in here. Actually, that's a lovely song. I've not heard that song in a while. It's a lovely song. I can't remember who did it. This is just a little hideaway, and I'm just loving this lace i got it from fabric land a while back anything for a little extra writing opportunities i like to find it when possible and i've been blessed by a number of you who have been championing me and i must tell you that uh once i finish off with the giveaway for nelda i will be doing another giveaway following that because I want to thank you all for assisting me in getting to my 200 and counting. So thank you so very much. Listen, it's been a hard road, a long road. And you know, what I'm coming to find out is that for inter introverts, even though I, I don't know, I'm like a semi introvert. But when you, you're someone without a lot of... Uh, you know, large family groups and friends, it's sometimes a little bit difficult getting your YouTube off the ground. And so I've found myself in that position. And um, it's taken me a while to get to, you know, this part of being just about going over 200 and counting. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your support out there. All of you, all of you, all of my subscribers, thank you so very much for your support. And hey, we've only just begun. There's so much more to do. And I, I continue to love what I do. And um, you love what you do, do what you love, and the rest will follow. Thank you so very much, guys. This is just a, a quick flip through of my... Floral slash summer journal. 
I wanted summer, I had summer on the mind, and that's what I went for. So thank you so very much. Thank you. Young's Paper Creations, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share. God bless. Bye-bye.